Hey there, Patriots. Hope you're doing well, because recently I haven't. I've been sick with something that feels unnatural that came from Winnie the Pooh land. I'm not exactly sure whether if it was the Pooh virus or not. I never got myself tested. But I'm now just feeling up to speed to make YouTube videos again, which honestly has been a blessing in disguise, because it has really allowed me to be very thorough with my thoughts about 343 and Halo recently. So yes, I know this topic has already been given a beat down, but I just want to give my thoughts out here too, because this franchise has been my childhood. 343 has done anything but carry the torch of the Halo series, especially with the recent roadmap. And I'm also aware that Bonnie Ross has announced her departure with 343. I've seen mostly happy responses from this news, though I have no clue how much influence she's had on the development of this game. But one thing is for sure, whether she had influence on the leadership or not at 343, 343 really needs to get their shit in gear and do something about the state of Halo. If you've even just kept up with whatever the hell Halo's been doing right now, you know that the game needs a serious overhaul of content. Halo Infinite is probably one of the most content star video games on the market, with basically having none of the basic mechanics that Halo normally launches with. Halo Infinite is still pretty bare bones and soulless as where it started. And this is all because 343 has no idea what they actually want to do with Halo. And even Joseph Staten, as a big guy on the team, they still just keep undershooting and overpromising things that they can never actually get into the game. Months and months of nothing for co-op, campaign, forge, and working custom games. All you've been getting are breadcrumbs of content in the form of butt crack events. <coughs> Sorry, I mean fracture events. Or all they do is add some game mode that's already been into the game or a game mode that has it and throw it in for a limited time while all the sharks go crazy for the stupid color coatings and the stupid looking armor sets. However, this style of Halo is starting to get old for people because even though Halo Infinite brands itself as a live service game, we get everything but the live service. Instead, we get all the problems that a live service game gets, but without the effort and the content. And this game has been so starved of attention, basically anything will please a Halo Infinite fanbase, and honestly, how can you blame them? When you've gone almost a whole year without anything worth of value, you begin to count your blessings. It's like not getting sex from your wife for a year and she rewards you with an unlubed handjob. Sure, it's not what you want, but at this point, you're so desperate you'll take anything as long as it gets your rocks off. And for the most part, I sympathize with the anti-343 movement going on, but I don't think people really realize how much resources 343 has put into Halo. I know people are super quick into wanting to get rid of 343 for their handling of Halo, but seriously, I want you to sit down and really think of a better studio right now that can handle Halo. I know that we hate 343 because they're stupid, incompetent, and have no idea what to do with Halo, but it's not necessarily the whole company that's at fault, but the people who are ahead of the ideas of Halo Infinite have no fucking clue what they are doing. I feel like 343 is in this spot right now that the people working on Halo are thinking of the millions of ways they could make Halo the game everyone wants, but some dumb fuck in a business suit is telling these guys they have to make sure those pretty robot armor pieces have to be put out into the store by Tuesday. I genuinely feel like right now, Joe Staten is nothing more than a puppet for 343 for them to act like they are in touch with the Halo community when it's the exact opposite. But I'm sure Joe isn't quitting well because he loves this franchise just as much as we do. So no matter how badly he sees his beloved franchise get mutilated, he's doing everything he can just to hold on and fix it. Now, as I said before, I believe most of the leadership at 343 is a bunch of dumb fucks that have no idea what a Halo game is. They look at Halo and probably think everyone loves John Halo. Why don't people just like John Halo? Is these people that need to be replaced with veterans of the series that know how to make this game that everyone wants? 343 needs to stop treating Halo like it's some fucking shameless live service game. Halo has never been a live service game and it clearly isn't working still. No one logs in to play Halo and play the newest, trendiest event going on. We log on to play Halo so we can play with our friends in custom games, to play through the campaign with our friends and siblings, pushing our creative boundaries and forged to either satisfy ourselves with what we can create or want to show the world our works of art so that they may use it for their own enjoyment. Halo isn't a game that we get on every day to torture ourselves grinding some dog shit battle pass that's a nightmare to level up because not a single person at 343 has any concept 
concept of what a fun progression system looks like. But even though 343 has failed with Halo over and over again, that doesn't mean they aren't meant for Halo. It's just that the people with the vision for Halo are disconnected and out of touch with what Halo is and what it means. And I think 343 needs to put people in charge who know what this game is and what it means for not only Xbox, but for us as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you when the next video drops.